Hi, I'm Matthew Holman, and today we're going to be talking about 10 of the creepiest police sketches of all time. Now, if you don't know, police sketch artists, also known as composite artists or forensic artists, are police staff that essentially sketch up realistic portraits of wanted suspects or missing people to aid investigators in solving various cases. For the most part, Police sketch artists are decently competent and can usually draw a decent picture of the suspect or victim. However, sometimes the drawings that police sketch artists come up with are absolutely terrifying for one reason or another. Without further ado, here are the top 10 creepiest police sketches. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more programming. Number 10. Derek Todd Lee Derek Todd Lee was a serial killer in Baton Rogue from 1992 to 2003. His case was huge and had a lot of public interest, but one of the most notable things from his case is the horrifying police sketch that was created to identify him. Police offered this sketch to the citizens of Baton Rogue to attempt to stop Derek. What we see here is a terrifying sketch of a bug-eyed man with giant bloodshot eyes, a cold sociopathic stare, the skin of a corpse, and strange puckered dry lips. Luckily, Derek Todd Lee was captured eventually, and he really looks nothing like the sketch, ironically, but his police sketch will go down in history as among the creepiest. Number 9. Home Invasion Suspect So I have desperately tried to trace the origins of this police sketch, but for some reason, no matter how much I reverse search its origins, no results show. I can confirm, however, that this is indeed a real police sketch. It allegedly was created in the early 2000s in relation to a home invasion. This was supposed to be a sketch-up of the suspect. It looks completely inhuman, and if this drawing is genuinely anything to base the real suspect off of, the suspect must be really into methamphetamine or something similar looking at his skin. Number 8. Zeb Quinn's Suspect on January 2nd, 2000, 18-year-old Walmart employee Zeb Quinn went missing after his last shift and was never heard from ever again, and is presumed to be dead. His car was found in a parking lot a few days later, and inside his car was a literal puppy, a bunch of mysterious drawings and lipstick stains everywhere. The suspect who allegedly did this was sketched out by police artists. The results were terrifying. What we see is an inhuman-looking figure with sociopathic eyes, an indifferent mouth expression, and strange, unkept hair. Number 7. Missing Geneva Woman In 2012, a woman named Jenny Games, who was only 21 years of age, went missing from her home in Cottage Grove, Oregon. She was presumed by authorities to be dead, and also in a deep and advanced stage of body decomposition. With this, a police sketch artist actually had to draw a decomposed Jenny to give authorities an idea of what to look for. And what we got from that is truly nightmare fuel. We see an ashy-skinned corpse with disproportionate facial bones and lips that have rotted away to the point of it looking like the corpse was smiling. To give you an idea of just how disturbing this is, this was Jenny before decomposition. Yeah. Jenny was eventually found badly decomposed in a suitcase years later. Number 6. Chuck Cornell. Chuck Cornell was a man who went missing from his home state in 1989. His case was open and unsolved for 27 years until his body was eventually discovered, and it was found that he actually died in a tragic hit-and-run accident. The police sketch investigators used to find Chuck Cornell was very disturbing, to say the least. I don't know if it's the blank stare, the fact we all know he's dead, or the fact that his bone structure looks extremely inhuman, or maybe it's the hyper-realistic eyes, but this is one disturbing sketch. Number 5, Hans Asman. Hans Asman, yes, his name is funny, get over it, we're not 12, was a KGB spy and former Nazi. Hans has been long suspected of perpetrating the 1960 stabbings of three children in Finland, and with this, there have been many sketches created of him. This one in particular is the focus of this spy, and it truly deserves its placement. He just looks so evil and cartoonish. He almost kind of looks like a character from a GTA game, honestly. Number 4. Toronto Home Invasion Suspect Earlier this year, there was a home invasion and shooting slash attempted murder in Toronto. Not much is known about the incident because the suspects fled so well, but this is a sketch up of what one of the suspects allegedly looks like. And my god, that is nightmare fuel. We see an African American man with what looks like a do-rag on, a big overcoat, and a hospital mask that makes him look straight out of Silent Hill. I feel bad for whoever had to deal with this suspect head on. Number 3. 
eerie-eyed sexual assault suspect. In Citrus Heights, California, police had been alerted to the presence of a disturbed young man peeping into people's windows at night. On top of this, he had also credibly been accused of brutally sexually assaulting a woman in her home at night. Police eventually came up with a sketch of the suspect, who police refer to as the eerie-eyed sexual assault suspect. In the sketch, we see an inhuman-looking man with gigantic sociopathic eyes that seem yellow from jaundice, ashy skin, and buck teeth. If I lived in Citrus Heights, I would move away as far as I could because of this incident alone. Number 2. Zodiac Killer Sketches the Zodiac Killer is one of the most famous unsolved mysteries of all time. There have been many sketches of the Zodiac Killer, but one that strikes me as the most disturbing is this one. This is a real sketch drawn by police in an attempt to reconstruct some of the alleged crimes of the Zodiac Killer, and my god it's terrifying. Here we see a comical looking portrait of a man with a bag on his head with soulless eyes covered by aviators. The fact that anyone ever had to deal with this man is nightmare fuel on its own. Number 1. Mr. Cruel Easily one of the most disturbing police sketches of all time, Mr. Cruel was an Australian child murderer from 1987 to 1990, where he perpetrated three horrific attacks on three different children. Police sketched up the suspect's description that was given by a victim, and the result is iconically terrifying. Here we see a balaclava-wearing man with two tiny holes for eyes that seemingly have zippers around them, which give the illusion that his eyes are soulless little black buttons. His mouth also has a zipper that reveals only two teeth, which is also very disturbing because it makes the mask look vaguely human. Mr. Cruel is actually still out there, and there's a $1.2 million reward for his capture. He's wanted for home invasion, abduction, child rape, armed robbery, and child murder. Anyway, that's all for this video. If you liked it, subscribe, like the video, and stay tuned for more programming.